Hey everyone, welcome to this video and today we are going to build a coding and stock analyst using Microsoft's Autogen and Llama 370B served using Qualcomm's Cloud AI which offers one of the cheapest LLM inference out there. In order to build this analyst, we'll be using two agents. The first one is a code executor agent, which has ability to install dependencies and run code in a local sandbox environment. It also interacts with our second agent, which is the code writer agent. The code writer uses an LLM to generate code based on the instruction that it receives from the uh, code executor and then sends this generated code back to the code executor. Now that we understand what the two agents do, let's understand the system end to end. So in this case, the user provides a query to plot year to date stock gains for Qualcomm and Tesla. This query is received by the code executor agent and then based on this, it passes the instruction to generate code to the code writer. Then the code writer uses an LLM to generate this code. The generated code is sent back to the code executor, which uses a local code executor. This is a functionality which is provided by uh, Autogen. This local code executor would then take care of installing all the dependencies and uh, writing this code to a code file, execute it, and then send the output back to the code executor agent. Finally, the code executor agent would send the result back to the user. And in this case, uh, it's a generated graph where we can see the stock gains for uh, Tesla and Qualcomm in a single figure. So this is how the out output would be uh, presented to the user. All right, so now that we understand how this analyst is supposed to work, it's time to see things in action and implement this step-by-step -step using code. So now I'm in my cursor ID where I have everything set up in terms of uh, the dependencies and the code to run this stock analyst. So we'll start by loading the environment variables, which includes uh, the API key for running the Llama 370B, which is served in the Qualcomm's Cloud AI, as well as the base URL for it. So both of these things are uh, stored in this .env file. Next, we are going to set up the LLM configuration so that we can use this custom LLM with the Microsoft's Autogen framework. So all this code will be provided to you. Next, we are going to define our command line code executor, which is the local command line code executor. So it's a functionality which is provided by uh, Autogen, wherein you need to specify a timeout plus a working directory. So in this working directory, so let's run it. And now you can see, so we have created a, a coding directory for it, right? So this working directory would uh, store all the intermediate files as well as like uh, how it installs all these dependencies plus what code it needs to execute. Also the final result that we're going to get is going to be stored in this working directory. With everything set up, it's time to define our first agent, uh, which is the code executor agent. So you just need to provide a name to it. And uh, you also need to provide the configuration, which we just defined uh, the local command line code executor. So you need to pass it in here. So it is uh, an agent of uh, type conversible agent. So basically these agents are capable of like striking conversation with the other agents, or let's say delegating tasks to other agents. Then you also need to define uh, a default autoplay replay. So basically like what happens once the code executor does, does not have any code to execute or does not have any instruction to provide to any other agent. So in this case, like uh, how uh, it uh, gracefully terminates the operations. So we just need to provide uh, this default message here. Okay, so with the code executor agent in place, it's time to define our second agent, which is the code writer agent. So it acts as an assistant to the code executor and based on the instruction that it receives from the code executor, it is going to use the LLM, which is provided here using this uh, configuration parameter, right? And it uses this LLM to generate the code based on the instruction that it receives. And in this case, we have provided a parameter human input mode, right? So in this case, we say it's never. So basically what happens is once the two agents start collaborating and uh, uh, when the code writer agent is going to generate the code, we have an option to like get it reviewed by a human or like automatically do it. So like uh, you can keep it always. So in that case, like at every step when it generates a code, it is going to take feedback from human, whether it is correct or not before proceeding. But in this case, we are skipping that and uh, we are trying to, you know, run this thing end to end hands off without any sort of human intervention. Finally, you register uh, the custom model client with this agent so that you can use uh, the custom LLM that we have. And uh, let's run it. Now, once we have the code writer agent defined, we can also check its system prone. So these are basically detailed instruction that the agent needs to follow while generating the code. Finally, when everything is set up and defined, it's time to start the collaboration between these agents. So we'll start by providing uh, the user query. So again, uh, in this case, we are going to ask the agent to plot the year to end stock gains for Tesla and Qualcomm. And we also specify like what library it, it should be using. So in this case, it's using Y Finance or Yahoo Finance. So let's initiate the collaboration. So the conversation starts by code executor delegating a task to the code writer. And in this case, it uh, wants it to create a plot showing the year to date stock gains over the whole year for Qualcomm and Tesla. And uh, 
once this instruction is executed by the code writer then the code writer writes back to the code executor that uh, in order to uh, load these tokens it need to install the y finance and matplotlib library y finance is something that we also specified in our initial plot like what library it should be using to like achieve this objective and then it also gives the code to create this plot and if you remember in the beginning we said that uh, all the intermediate results and file it's saved in this coding directory so yeah so we have this bash script that the local command line code executor is going to run to install all the necessary libraries y finance is again something that we provided in the input prompt then we also have this uh, ai generated code file uh, written here which is executed by the code executor and this is the final result that we have right so yeah this looks pretty cool so this is what uh, our agent is able to generate based on just a single prompt and everything is running totally hands off so there was no human intervention involved and we were able to like achieve this final objective wherein the agent also had to you know understand the user query then depending on that generate uh, a code using an llm and from that code it also needed to like see like what all dependencies or what all libraries it needs to install to run this code it did that and then finally it was able to execute this code and generate this plot for us so yeah this is pretty cool and as always i have provided a step by step guide and instruction to run all of this in the thread that follows so let me know how did you like it and if you have any thoughts put them down in the comments i also wanted to show you the qualcomm's cloud ai playground so uh, in here you can just come and select any model that you want to interact with so uh, i'm selecting llama 3.170b which is again the model that we used in our stock analyst as well so let's ask it to tell me a joke right yeah so this is how it works and uh, along with that you can get all your api keys uh, from here i'll uh, i'll share the uh, link to the playground so that you can get access to the api keys and uh, run the stock analyst agent it also provides uh, different sort of models uh, so if you are trying to build a full stack ai application you can also uh, you know right away use the embedding models the lm of your choice and if you are doing some image generation task so we also have these uh, stable diffusion models available here as well and they also provide really nice documentation to get started with this sdk and uh, the sdk nicely integrates with the bunch of popular tools like langchain and for creating agents you can use crew ai and in today's tutorial what we used was uh, microsoft microsoft's autogen so everything is here uh, for you to try it out all right so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in another one until then bye bye